love what comics do to your head because you have to bring something to the table between those panels. It's like your own little movie in your head that the, the comic starts and then you get to continue. So many people look at our medium as like a gutter medium. Like, oh, it's just for kids. But look who's watching these things now. Look who's paying attention. It's not just kids. There are some things that comics have to explain more that cinema does in a second. You have to be able to know both mediums and be able to understand transitioning from a comic book to a film, it has to, by its very nature when you see it, you have to say, this will work. If you look at the 300 graphic novel by Frank Miller, they were practically storyboards for a film. And if you look at those two books, it's like, whoa, that's right out of the book. And this is what uh, Thomas Tull and, and Zack Snyder saw. They went, this is cinematically broken down because Frank produced it in such a way that he made it so easy that the, Zack Snyder went, I can do that, let's go. Because these characters can be made to be more than what they were when they started. The beauty of this medium and how powerful it is. That's why Watchmen has endured. And that's why Batman is so good. That's why these characters endure. Because it had oomph, it had, it had passion. And it said something, it was political, it was, it was emotional, and it, and it made a statement. And really the main reason is that people feel connected to the, to the story, the character. It's, you know, you've got your own imagination, but then to see somebody else go, hey, look at this, look at this, I thought of this, like, you're sick, that's great. You know? And to me, that's the most important thing because it's all about art and feeding the brain and feeding the eyes and feeding the soul with, with the, 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 the imaginations of others.